All right, so last we left off, uh, the, the lot of you had arrived in Oyanas, um, a by the, we'll say the hand of the benefactor, where you were charged with hunting down some of the uh, straggling wizards, we'll say, of uh, Zahash. Um, they had taken refuge here. You had been made contact in a bar called My Father's Place. <laughs> My Father's Place. Yeah, I about that. That's a good name, you know. I, I, I like it. I, I forgot. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. I, I've heard a lot worse. Okay, um, <laughs> especially in D and D games, um, and especially in uh, downtown hipsters area. So uh, <laughs> there, uh, where there, you you met the proprietor, a uh, gentleman by the name of Quanic. Um, Quanic is kind of a shorter human. Little, I don't want to say stocky, but he he's kind of a bigger dude. He's got some pretty good arms. He has got some Popeye arms going on. Uh, definitely a hard worker. Um, he's been kind to you. He gave you guys a uh, drink and lodging for the night, no problem. Um, he seemed to sympathize with you a little bit. Uh, he knows that the benefactor has, has brought you here, but he's not sure why. He doesn't know why. I don't think you guys told him. And he's, he also seems the type of, like, he's not going to pry. He's not going to cry? Well, no, we didn't cry. actually have oh, a chance God. to sit down and we didn't really have a chance to sit down and talk to him about it. No, you really didn't. He kind of ushered you and let, let you guys kind of like, because he, he didn't want to have to spend time explaining the centaur coming out of his basement and no one saw it. <laughs> um, it was really awkward. So, uh, but the, the evening passed, you guys drank a, you guys drank a nice cask of uh, his, his local mead, um, enjoyed the evening. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, morning comes. Here's not being a slave. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, um, so yeah, so now you, uh, you're sitting there and in the tavern hall, it's empty. Uh, he's closed up shop. Uh, he let you guys kind of stay after it closed up. He let you guys just stay in the main, the main room. Uh, there are no, like, there's no, like, lodgings here for, formally, but he's letting you guys kind of crash it in the, uh, the bar, as it would be, um, or stable in Trouser's case. Yeah, <laughs> or just throw some hay on the ground and yeah, I'll feel at home, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, but as you guys start kind of stirring, he kind of starts walking out uh, with the, you know, he's got, like, a loaf of bread um a few little kind of uh veggies and such like that he's kind of grilled up for you guys and he's you know puts them up on the bar and says uh so what do y'all got going on today quanic oh i have so many questions for you <laughs> he's like yeah. what the fuck was all of that seriously what the fuck was all that like what? Fucking crawl alien shit. Like, are you working with them? Crawl, did you, did you, did you make a donation? The nude human on the spaceship. He's like, did what? you go? Did you go into one of the pods? Pods. He he kind of said it. He's like, what the hell? Are you talking? He's like, all right. He's let like, me ask you. What do you think about the people? Are are what do you guys call them? Benefactor. What do you think? The about benefactor. That? Yeah. Um, yeah, he was about to say he was going to call them people. He, he would definitely not call them people. Uh, there's something else. He, he says, well, yeah, he's like, a few years back, you know, I'm, I'm setting, setting up the, uh, some, you know, putting up some of the kegs in the cellar. And I know some kind of awkward in there. And I find this, I can't quite put my finger on it, what it is. There's something that kind of weird, kind of a trick of the light down there. You know, and I get that it's dark, but so I pull my torch out and kind of go closer to it. And there's this critter, big, big thing, big eye in the middle of it, kind of gangly. Um, and uh, scared the shit out of me, ran up, and uh, wasn't sure what to do. There. And uh, eventually, this little thing came up, floated up to me and started talking to me, asking me some questions, asking if I would, uh, no pun intended here, but turn a blind eye to some stuff. So but, your basement is like an entry point for them. This is why they sent us here. There's it's something like, about that's it. has been happening yeah, a there's few times? The, there's something down there that like is conducive. So they've been, they, they use it like a, like a, like a hub almost to get in and out of here. I tried to ask any questions. They've helped me out. 
uh, my bar wasn't doing too well and they produced some cash that, you know, cash, simple things for me, said it wasn't a problem. So I'm, I'm willing to, you know, work with them if they're going to keep me going. But uh, as far as what they are, I'm not, I couldn't tell you. We, can we tell if he's uh, holding any information back by body language or anything like that? Uh, mm. Insight check, Charles. Okay. I'd like to make an insight check too, because I'm watching him really close. Yeah, you and Norvar can do it for sure. Norvar, yeah, can do it. Okay. Right, I'll just roll it since it's not going. Plus one, 12. Very nice. What right. do you uh, 14. 14. He's like, he, he seems kind of apprehensive about this whole thing. Like, he, under, <laughs> he a lot of it is like, he, he needs to not like ask questions. He knows whatever this is is dangerous. Mm. Like, dangerous huh okay as far as like you can tell he's he's he doesn't want to say too much because he he he's like you're pretty sure he thinks the thing's listening whatever the benefactors is listening potential and it could happen i mean that, that's not a bad assumption yeah yeah but also he also doesn't have anything bad to say about them he just has, he just thinks they're weird but they come in they come and gone and a lot of what they're doing is they like this place because it's you know people come in here and they talk and you can hear you can He's like, I get privy to a lot of information and I'll tell him to turn something, but that's why, like, you know, I was asked about what you're here for. Maybe if you're here for something I could uh, help with. Okay. I'm not going to ask. If, I'm not going to pry if you don't want me to. Do well, we you ask? Gotta excuse us. You got you to gotta excuse us. We've had sort of um, a series of very crazy yeah, adventures where, this where year. Are you from? It's been a moment. Most, most of what I've, the only thing I've ever seen come through there was the, the gangly eye thing and the. Uh, a little floater. <laughs> floater? What's a floater? Speaking of plumbing issues. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're from a place called De Pit. Uh, yeah. Pit, I was yeah. a gladiator born in a pit. And uh, the pit. It's real. I'm not from a, not from a pit, but a I hellish a, place. Wait, the, the, the pit? Like one of a the pits. Pit? Like Zahash's pit? Zahash's pit, yes. It was one of them, yes. Cool. There's a lot of pits. It's the pits. A lot of pits? Yeah. He's Many like, strongholds. He, he's like he's not pretty crazy. And we were freed by the uh, benefactor or his factions and um, freed, but then we basically were taken by the, or we got help. We, they helped us leave. And then we came through here through this, through your bar. He's a little, I mean, I guess it makes sense with the way you guys kind of and he kind of looks at your looks you over and how dirt how you guys are dirty and how you know kind of messy you are and he's like i guess that makes sense he's like look why don't you know walking around like that you guys are gonna draw some eyes i can tell you that much um there's a bathhouse about three places down um you might be able to get some uh get cleaned up a little bit if, you, if you're gonna be walking around that's probably wise is any of us wearing because i'm not sure what we're all wearing but like is any of us? It's it's all pretty telling what we're wearing. Like I know I'm wearing guards chainmail. Norvar, yeah, you you were dressed like one of one of uh, the guards in the pit. Uh, it does have an emblem of Zahash on it. Uh, Might want to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so into it myself. Um, Morvar is wearing like some. You know, you have your leathers on. You guys have those leathers you guys picked up. Uh, Zog chains just got built. Uh, it was, it was uh, and don't forget, I have a skull of somebody that I'm going to be forming into a cod piece. Yeah. <laughs> and there's uh, who? Who is it of again? It's uh, Jarzok, Lich. Jarzok, that's right. Uh, and then Tyrlis, you're just wearing like your your leather straps, basically. Yeah. Um, so. And my saddlebags. And your saddlebags, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, you yeah. yeah, what, well, is, actually, what is a bad ha bathhouse? Yeah. We should probably hit a bathhouse. And honestly, I mean, do we have any gold on us at all? Do we anybody have any money? Or do we have the money that was assigned to our characters or we have nothing? No, you don't have any cash. We need to get some cash says, together and possibly get some other clues. Yeah, Quantic says, look, I, I can, I can, the benefactors helped me out a bit. I got, I got a bit of cash I could, I could spare with you guys. If you guys get me back for it, I appreciate it. But yeah. I can, I can spot you. I can spot you a few gold pieces to get you a walk. I just, I just don't want to walk around looking like this. No, he's like, you I, don't want, you, I, I don't want you. I don't want you walking back in here looking like that. Mm -hmm. So okay, that's taking it a little far. And so no, he, <laughs> he doesn't want to be known as like. Look, man, he doesn't want to be known as like you know. It's like, it's like you just escaped like you know a Nazi prison camp and you just got yourself as one of the guards, yeah. and then like you're walking around in the guard outfit still. 
You yeah. know, like you didn't ditch it. <laughs> yeah, should I? Do you here. have any? Do you have a loss and found at least for now while I walk down the street? He's like, he's like, well, look, and he kind of reaches into like his. He's got kind of a coin purse behind the the the, the bar, and he pulls up, and he drops a. Uh, Bink, 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 bink. He drops uh, 40 gold pieces on, on the bar. Ooh, nice. He says, he says uh, just pay it back, guys. Okay, so what yeah, no problem. So who are you, sir? Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. No problem. Um, listen, what do we uh, tell you what, and I'll, uh, I'll, you know, put, is there a place that potentially also that I could buy chain mail that, and then sell this stuff? That somebody oh, might want it. Anonymous is a pretty good sized city. I mean, you could. There's a few. There's at least like three blacksmiths in town that'll take you up on that. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, it depends on you know. They're not going to like pay you a lot for that. I can tell you that much, but they'll pay something for it. Yeah, more, more something better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to get rich off it. I just need to get rid of it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would like to get hosed off. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I'm down for the bathhouse. <laughs> yeah. So. I enjoy the bath look. <laughs> what's that? Seven. <laughs> so, uh, you guys take you know you have your forty gold pieces. You um, you can egress the place no problem. Head down to the bathhouse. Uh, or what do you guys want to do? I'm not sure what you're gonna do. Um, bathhouse, gonna wash yeah. myself. <laughs> wash myself. You want to roll for that? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, okay, so you guys, so you guys all have the bathhouse uh, clean up. First time you guys have had a, like a nice bath. Uh, all said and done for the four of you, because tearless. Well, tearless will serve you tearless, but you're gonna have to like, they're gonna charge you double. It's like it's like when you wash the SUV. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah SUV. Um, How much does that cost us? I actually uh, find a couple women to wash him off for him. So uh, it, it, pays, it pays off. We were we were talking about uh, David Coverdale and. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, you um, uh, all of a sudden done. It cost you guys five gold pieces for the whole bathhouse thing. Okay, tracking it. Uh, yeah. you get okay. stuff, you get free. And you guys come out smelling pretty good. They wash your clothes too. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, your armors, they don't do the armor. They don't polish armor. They don't do that kind of crap in Orvar, but uh, you're... I, I, I want to get... Now just in, like, you're in skivvies, basically. You're just in, like, like a robe and everything, kind of walking around town or something, or something like that, or do you want to keep on wearing the armor? Like I a spot robe? Uh, that's going to draw too much yeah. attention, but so, I would like to get a new armor, so I'd like, I tell them I'd like to hit an armory. And... Yeah, they, they, point you, they, they point you to one down the road. Um, nice. It's... Uh, ah. Bob's axes. <laughs> Bob's axes. Did we? Uh, I ask everybody. Like, did we get any l clues um, on this errand we were sent on originally? Like, how are we supposed to track these general wizards? And do we know what we need to, for this? I damn dude. I I just pulled like random blacksmith names, and I kid you not, one of the blacksmiths, one of the names of the blacksmith is called the Heat Is On. <laughs> Rad. All right. No, that's, I'm not going to use that one. That's too, that's, uh, down, down, down. The heat yeah. is on, on, on. Uh, yeah, we'll call it the ore store. It's called the ore store. The, the ore store. store. The ore store. <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. Let me get something a little more situated. Anybody else want anything with the money that we have to get ourselves? Do we, we yeah, have anything? Yeah, I'm making a cod piece. Oh, this guy might have to, for you. Do we have to spend the money on the cod pieces? Well, I'm spending it? my money on it. Yeah. But, we only have 40 gold pieces. You have money? Well, let's see how much it costs. Where's I don't want to see, I don't wanna see his here? cod. I don't want to see his cod, cod hanging out. A quality I, cod piece costs more I mean, than 40. Well, uh, I, let's, let, let's see. Worst, like I said, worst right. comes to worst, get a leather strap. He's going to wear it there. <laughs> I, I understand. I feel you. Okay. Yeah, get well, him a budget it, cod piece. Can you buy it? <laughs> yeah. <two>? <laughs> budget. <laughs> it's some bullet belts while we're at it. Yeah. All right, so let's go head over there first real quick, and then we'll start talking about clues that we have and how we're going to get started, because I want yeah. us to be able to move around, and I want us all to be ready to go mm -hmm. when we need to be. Um, that's my vote. All right, so we hit up that armor, the ore yeah. store. It, the ore store is not a problem. Hit up. It's, a, it's a pretty straightforward box, but they have a, a storefront with some ready-made pieces. Um, if you're looking for armor, they do have like some ar armor pieces in here. They would certainly be able to... Um, 
uh, what's it called, uh, ditto for you? I would like to swap out this chain, this sell this chainmail that I, uh, Zahash chainmail outfit and shield for a different chainmail okay. and shield. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so you kind of, you, you walk up to there and uh, you, the, the proprietor says, oh, welcome, uh, welcome to the oil store. What, uh, what kind of helps with it? Like, do, you have your, do you have the orange still kind of wrapped up in a bundle, I'm guessing? Yeah, I have a bundle. And I said, listen, so I uh, had a friend who apparently used to work for Zahash and was a guard. <laughs> and has this it. So when you say that, like, you drop the name Zahash, his eyes get kind of wide and he's like, like he doesn't want any trouble. No, there's no trouble here. My cousin, uh, my friend, my friend passed away, and I have this armor, and I don't want it. And I'd like to get a chainmail and shield. And I wonder if you have any use for an old, very old Zahash guard uniform. They, they kind of like, oh. they kind of take it. Yeah, yeah. This is this is like the grandkid pawn. His like he finds out his grandpa was a Nazi. He's like pawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't want this, but I would very much like chainmail um, and shield. But he does and I'd look like... at it. He does look. He kind of takes it back and he throws the chainmail. And he says, "Seems some action." Um, yeah, it's old. It's but, very. I don't know how old it is. I, I, he's like, oh, it doesn't look too old. These are pretty fresh cuts. They haven't rusted over yet. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. I don't know why how that happened. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's um, nuts. He takes the shield. He takes the the chainmail and says, uh, "What are you looking to get?" Well, like I said, I like a good. Uh, I mean, I don't want to be greedy here. I I I just like a usable, really great. Your bet, you know, something comparable chainmail and shield that I could uh, purchase from you. Well, what I can get you on this is. Uh, I can I can do you a cheaper shield. Uh, it won't be metal, but it'll be wood. Um, wood. I mean, it'll work. It'll it'll be functional. It's wood with like reinforced metal. But yeah, but you don't have a shield like this shield. This is it's a weak there, ass shield. He looks at the look at the shield. He's like, look at the look at like the steel on steel work here. Look at the folds in it. I I can't. I mean, is there a logo on that shield? Yeah, <laughs> and it's like it's like steel on it's like steel embedded logo. Uh, but I can't be walking. Like, look, he's like, face it. I can't sell this stuff here. I'll, I'll be dead in a week if I try to sell this. Uh, I'm gonna okay. melt it down. How much would it cost for you to melt this down into a shield that I could use? Um, how much time? Oh, well, we could. I could. I mean, if you want like a better shield, you want to buy a shield. If you're just talking straight trade, you know, I can I can get you a scale and a, and a wood shield. But if you want to do uh, the full metal shield. I could sell you one at a slight discount. Yo, you have metal shields. He's like, yeah, they, talking they, they have like ready-made stuff. Yeah, he's got some ready stuff. Nothing like fancy. Well, well how much can we? Can this chain mail and this shield count towards a chain mail and a shield equivalent use? And how uh, much would it cost? We say you throw in uh, another 20 gold pieces. And <sighs> I'll, I'll swap it across here for you for some of this, this stuff. I'll get it fitted for you and everything. That's not you know, I also have a shield. How about, how about... Sweeten that deal. How yeah. about, yeah, there's another shield. I kind of looks at it and says, all right, do it for uh, another 15 gold pieces then. How about 10? Uh, make a persuasion check, Norvar. Nice. Maybe we get two shields. 21. He says, all right, I give you... Uh, Tell you what, we'll do a metal shield, a wood shield, a spot of chain mail, and uh, you give me the you give me this stuff in ten gold pieces, and it's yours. Done. Okay. So he hands over the wood. So now, so Tyrus, you have a wood shield. Okay. Nor, you have like an indiscriminate, very generic looking metal shield. That's all I needed. Uh, what's up? I just needed something that yeah. didn't scream where we came from. Yeah. yeah. And the, the chain that you have doesn't, it's like nondescript. It doesn't have any kind of like markings on it. It's just kind of like a thing here, too. So, uh, okay. That's what I needed for now. Yeah, I have to say, it's really cool, like, be able to like play with like this cool background that Jerry made because, like, I like having like people's art integrated into my games. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. My favorite one was one of my, my, my cousin's ex-husband uh, was playing with us and he like drew my nephew's dwarf 
and we didn't pick up on it initially when we looked at the, when we looked at the sketch, <laughs> but like it's like kind of done in runes along the the uh, axe head, and it's <laughs> it's like it says like in the kind of dwarven style runes like die bitch. Because <laughs> 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 like my nephew's character plays like really violent dwarves. <laughs> Is there any other kind? Um, uh, for that wooden shield, would it just be a plus one? No, it's just, it's just a regular shield. It's a full blown. Okay. Uh, all cool. shields in, in fifth edition are, are plus two. Okay, awesome. Uh, it's just a matter of like like stylistic wise, and like if if it is metal or wood, can matter like for something like shocking grasp. So, but okay. it's a wood shield. I figured you'd do better with a wood shield, anyways. Um, yeah. Okay, so, my uh, so yeah, you do have a wood, you have a wood shield. Um, you certainly could also cheerless. You do know that wood shields are, are uh, it's not a bad move to like, leather wrap one either. So maybe if you get some leather in the future, you could just wrap it up. Oh yeah, um, nice. So anyways, just, like, uh, cut off a piece of your, uh... never mind. Your hide, cut off your own hide. My hide, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that Damn, that's awesome. Yeah. That's I'm so Centaur forceful. hair. Do yeah. a forceful check. Yeah. It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. It's like, yeah, all right. So, um, so you, you come up with some armor. Uh, Noravar seems to have kind of a. Uh, you're noticing that Noravar's sweet words seem to work a lot better in a city than they do in I don't know a former labor camp. Because um, <laughs> uh, I got sweet words. I got things to say. I got sweet words. Uh, so he, uh, the shopkeeper says, "So uh, what brings you? Uh, what brings you to the town?" Oh, you know, our business is our own. Taking. <laughs> The yeah. centaur has never seen the city yeah, before. Yeah, we want to show them around. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks at, uh, he looks at Mor Morvar and he's like, I was, I'm just curious. He's like, I, and kind of looks at Zogchen. He's like, I never, you know, he's looking at Zogchen quite a bit and Morvar and they're kind of out of place for him. Um, he's like, yeah, we don't get a lot of gnomes this far out uh, east. Wouldn't you know? Ah, here we are. Here we are. No place, no place like Gnome. Gnome alone. Gnome alone. Gnome is where the heart is. <laughs> if you were here, you'd be Gnome by now. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wow. What's, that, what's that? What's that heart song? A Gnome? All right. <laughs> I think now you, un and then I look, I look at the shopkeeper <laughs> after that, and I go, now you understand why not many of them make it out here. Listen, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, we also have a question How about a a cod piece. Ah, uh, nothing but love, you know. Uh, we have a question. We have the best cod pieces in town. It needs so to I be say, fitted. Uh, what made? <laughs> Sagat, Sah what was it? Sahash. Sahash. That's not Sahash. Uh, uh, that's not. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well. Just a that's just a good. skull. <laughs> just a skull of a bitch. Uh, this, uh, this is my cousin. <laughs> uh, who passed away? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, so it's a little small for a dwarf cousin. Like I'll say that. <laughs> well, that's it's a bit racist of you, but uh, <laughs> but I but I digress. Um, I'm looking. Really I'm looking to my crotch. <laughs> yeah, well, I want I want to honor honor him <laughs> by wearing him uh, on my crotch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. and if you have a buzz it's saw, it's I like a buzz yeah, saw he, right yeah, in. Yeah, you you um they kinda of, kinda of looks at the skull and, and like looks at you and says like not really our kind of stuff. There's a leather worker up, up the road that will okay. help you out. Uh, yeah. but not really like something in our wheelhouse. That, that that's that's fair. And you can't tell if he, if like either he's being he might he, he's kinda of being truthful in like both that he doesn't really doesn't want to do it and then also he doesn't they don't this isn't their, their kind of stuff they'd like to do. Meanwhile, uh, there's a gimp in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. We'll go to the leather worker now. Once we're yeah. situated, right. I have the chainmail on, on and the shield. Nora Mars yeah. like, let's leave. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go. Thank you so much for taking the yeah, next He's like, I got my shield. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> it will be fitting your card piece here, Doc Sanchez. <laughs> I just want. To be less conspicuous. That's all I wanted. I got that. Let's go. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you, you, we'll bounce back. And, uh, you bounce out. Uh, up the roads of leather shop, they point you to um, called. Uh, oh yeah. Called, Cod name. pieces are. Uh, <laughs> it's called uh, by the skin. By the skin. I put my hand on uh, the shoulder oh, and I go. I think this one. Is all you, buddy? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll wait outside. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> oh no, I'm coming in. I want to see this. 
gonna look though. So, so Norvar, Morbarn, and Zogchen all walk in. Uh, Tierra and Skiri's gonna hang out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I should also mention, uh, Sar uh, Saria didn't want to come with you guys because she's she's kind of worried about you being recognized in town. She said like this is where she got abducted from. Um, oh. Okay. She feels like her presence might be too hot. Um, the block is hot. I'm like, what did she do? I'll have to figure that out. Good question. So, yeah, she. Uh, so you go on into the by the by the skins. And when I say it's called by the skins, I mean B U Y the skins. Get it? All right. Mm -hmm. Bad joke. Right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's a fun. One. We got it. We it's got fun. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, welcome to welcome to storage. You gotta you gotta remember it. You know, you gotta have. You gotta have yeah. Game. So you walk right. on in. Um, and the store, it smells nice. It's a, it's a nice leather shop. Uh, it's a lot better than like the the kind of leather that Tira this is wearing, which is rather sun beaten, just I mean barely holding together. Um, you're seeing lots of there's le there's certainly like leather like armor, but there's also like uh, you know pauldrons and bracers and boots. Maybe I will go in then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you have, to, you have to kind of duck in this place, Tearless, where the other place... I, I oh, lean yeah. in and go, you got to come in. You got to see this place. Okay, I will. Thank you. Make sure a little uncomfortable. There, there is definitely... You do see some horse side, Tearless. I don't know how your center oh, of horses, but yeah. like... It's, it's, it's like a little too close. I do to not condone that, yeah. Mm. Do you not like... You don't like... I can't imagine you'd like a bridle. That'd be like... <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. I, I'm not saying you should. I just... You don't look like the type. Yeah. Run yeah. and hide. You, you Do you sell a human hide here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but uh, you um, you walk on in, and the, <laughs> the, the proprietor comes out. It's a woman, and she says, "Oh, welcome to buy the skin. welcome. Hopefully, you you enjoy buying the skins. What uh, what can I get you for today?" And it kind of looks like like you're kind of. I slam the skull down on there. I'm like, "This is my cousin. <laughs> I want to fit it into a cod piece in memory of him." Okay. Now so, go get me a man to make this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never said he was a misogynist. Um, oh man! But there as is long a as it's a g-string in the back. <laughs> Sorry. Guys. I'm like laughing, hanging out with uh, the gnome and the centaur, <laughs> like looking through hides, going. <laughs> okay, I got a little drunk at my father's place. <laughs> So um, you uh, you pull the co you pull the skull and she's kind of taken back by the skull and kind of looks around real quick like like initially you think she's like looking to escape but you realize she's actually looking for something goes over and like pulls a leather cod piece off of the wall it is a black leather cod piece mm. um, looks good and she, she lays it on the table and her skull and kind of like. She she says, "Do you mind?" Like she's like she wants to she wants to handle the skull. By all means. And she kind of sizes it up and says, "Yeah, we could um, I I could get this I could get this done for you." Cool. Um, I have a I have a guy that does kind of taxidermy type work uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> he does skull work. Yes. <laughs> you do want it polished? All right. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> oh my god. This oh. is why I came in here, just to overhear uh, this. Yeah. yeah, there's Norbar in the corner. Norbar go. D does it have room for when you enlarge Zogchen? Yeah, well, it enlarges with him. Oh, yeah, okay, that, that's, good all, that's part of it. Oh, that's yeah, good, when you enlarge, all his equipment enlarges with him until he drops it, then it, then it goes back to normal size. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which brings up a really interesting argument of if you are enlarged and you throw a dart, does it do large damage or does it do small damage? Um, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, that's, that's up to the DM. This is the DM. So yeah, you um, you you go and kind of talk. Um, and she kind of looks it over and says, "Well, I'll just send this over to my guy. It'll take us about two days to get done. Is that fair?" Okay. Um, you're looking. Uh, at well. Yeah, we got. Yeah. It. We'll be in town for a little bit, looking around. It's yeah. it's not so much the time. I'm worried that they might steal the skull of my cousin. Um, is is. So kind All of, right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> she says, this uh, monk. We can put. I can put this together now. The belt. Did you want it studded, or did you did you want anything special on it? Like kind of uh, some hammering done on it, or fur, some fur trim. Some fur trim. Nope. I want it. I just want the skull. Okay. Black leather. Black leather belt with the skull. Or black leather. And you belt. know what? Well, how much is that going to cost? 
Um, to do the cod piece and the thing, it'd be about two gold pieces. Okay. Now, what I'm also thinking, could I add two daggers into the skull so that I could wield them out? I socked it. You so. make them, make them darts. Oh, that would be make awesome. Them darts, not I can, that. I can wheel them out and that in. Um, a, a pair, a pair of uh, sheaths. Um, I can do that. Cool. Be yeah, careful you, as you draw like, and put them back, like, though. Now you, you do want sheaths, not just because obviously it's a very dangerous area to keep two daggers. Sheaths would be nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna roll the daggers down there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Vlog Chen is a monk, couldn't he also just be a eunuch? Yeah, I true. could, but I'm not. But I uh, <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah. You have many sheets for all your daggers. <laughs> all sorts of <laughs> impressive. This is, <laughs> this is a fascinating group I've just. Oh, um. She says, you guys are going to uh, be fun to hang out with. Add another gold <laughs> piece and I'll, and I'll set that up for you. So three gold pieces for the whole setup. And I'll, I'll, All right, I'll, that sounds good. I hand it I over. See, I, I look over to uh, 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 to Norvar, who's got our purse. Yeah, like, Yeah, I hand it over. Mr. Moneybag. Okay. Yeah. All right. So not a problem. Yeah, you uh, you go ahead and uh, set it up. And she she thanks you and uh, says, uh, yes, uh, quite, quite, quite nice of you. What, um, I, I, you, have to, you have to forgive me. I have to ask. What, what bring? I've never seen you around, uh, Oyanis. What what brings you here? Who, who is she talking to? Just the party in general, like or who's ever around. Which I mean, Norvar puts the money oh. on the table. So it's we're like, new in town. So um, we're actually uh, we came into town. Uh, we're actually um, we're from a place called some... Nunya. <laughs> We, we're new in town and we're actually looking, we're actually in town looking for somebody. We've been sent to oh. uh, find uh, somebody. Have you ever seen the movie Munich? <laughs> no, but I've seen the eunuch. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we look, aren't they, we're looking for wizards? Who is it? Then never where they are. Well, we're looking, where would you recommend if we were new in town, which we are, um, <laughs> where would you recommend uh, us looking for, are there a lot of um, inns in town, oh, like yeah. a lot of places? Like we're, well, we're, yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, Giannis has a fair population, a permanent population of about 3,500. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's pretty sizable and there's definitely a, a suitable number of taverns in town, if that's what you're asking. Where's the shadiest so. of all your taverns and inns? We find <laughs> the shadiest of all characters. Okay. Uh, she says, oh, well, um, if you're looking to <clears throat> just kind of uh, clear the voice, slum it. Uh, <laughs> I, Damn. Would, I would recommend, uh, I, I would recommend as well, stop for a moment says, okay, I wouldn't recommend, uh, it's called the Upset Loaf. Upset okay. Loaf. Upset loaf. I yeah, like the it's a little. Don't, don't. You know, it, it's if you want to go drink, it's okay. Talk to people, but don't get the food. Mm. That kind of a bad, <laughs> bad rep. Good to know. Good to know. Interesting. Skip the food. Yeah. No loaves. Okay. <laughs> How is the beer? Uh, <laughs> the ale's watered down. I think. Um, what sort? What sort of company goes? Yeah, there? yeah, I was about to say. What kind of characters would be there? Uh, she says, "Um, not kind of care to speak about freely." Emphasis on the free. Fair. Fair. Okay. All right. I look oh, at Norvar again. He's got her purse. Mm -hmm. You're like she wants that money. <laughs> oh, great. A coin yeah, for your Jackson or whatever the hell's on their currency. Yeah, like, I've been in that town. What's a good what's a good bribe? Let's start with a gold piece. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, she's, put a she's gold like piece a down. Piece. She's like a cod piece. She's looking for a tip. Um <laughs> sorry, that's rough. <laughs> wow. Uh um, these slip her gold yeah, I know that was bad. Sorry, I, I had to do it there. Uh <laughs> so you slip her a gold piece and she says, um a shady bunch is a good way to put it. Um, there's a few kind of gangs in town. Um, it's it's not a bad place if you're looking for some cheap muscle. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
we might be looking for mercenary work or so, you know, so forth. But yes, we're looking for, yeah, who is the predominant gang in, in Giannis? Oh, Giannis. Uh, I wouldn't call him predominant. Um, who, who shakes everybody down here? <laughs> it's more of who hires people to shake people down here. Um, ah. Do it by a kind of a, a what's it called? Um, proxy, if you will. Uh, not do it so far. Um, there is a. There's a group. Are you on name generator again? I'm on name generator. Uh, there's a group called the Untamed. Mm. That's not bad. Okay. okay, the Untamed. I mean, it was it was it was better than the Flame Bulls. There was one called the Flame Bulls. <laughs> yes, which yes, really really like. Yeah, that that's the Flame Bulls that hang up hang out at the Upset Loaf. <laughs> 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 that's rough man yeah no, that, that, uh, yeah. untamed the untamed hang out at the, at the upset low <laughs> the untamed hmm. untamed yeah, they're untamed. untamed yeah they they're untamed. Uh, <laughs> a motley bunch uh largely a uh came here came here a few decades ago uh it's kind of a gang of um goblinoids uh, bugbears. Mm, oh. The, all uh, female. Hmm? What's that? Oh. All female bugbears? <laughs> uh, no, they, they do they do have female members, though. Um, That's a weird question, but we'll go with it. No, they're... Thanks for weighing in there, Morbarn. Uh, perfect. Dude, um, I, I mean, like, everyone else is getting weapons and cod pieces yeah. and I'm just waiting for I'm my moment. Some bug for my... Yeah, no, there's, 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 there's few Get in there, more barn. I'm trying. I, I push you in front. <laughs> Is there also, um, would you recommend any particular brothel in town for my dear gnome friend? Yeah, female bugbears, I think. Does not need to be a brothel. <laughs> I'm cool with an alley. <laughs> Classy. I'm so, a um, I'm an artist. I need mm -hmm. to get my inspiration back. This is oh. true. Well, are you looking? Uh, if it, well, if you have some, I'm sure there's individuals. Uh, we'll say uh, freelancers that at the upset loaf who would oblige you. But if you're looking for something more reputable, kind of like not sure if that's what you want because you guys are asking about shady places, then you start asking about is there upscale brothels? Like, it's a very <laughs> Um, well, they're talking to you, more more. Were you, were you interested in? I need to know, I need to find the people that know the most. And I feel like those that know the most are the ones that see the most traffic. Oh my. Um, okay. Um, it's all, it's all, all you know. Good hunch. Yeah. yeah. I look down at him and I go, you're a dirty little gnome. <laughs> I'm on to something, my friend. I am on. On to something. I like this You're guy. On to something, right? I know this kind of investigation work. Yeah, there is a uh, there is a brothel in town that, that's uh, deals with more, I will say, upscale clientele, um, known as the Luna Thank Fair. Like, what is it? Like like the Moon Fair. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Moon Fair. Luna Fair, yeah. Moon Fair. Mm. We're not spending the gold on you getting some so you can pump a prostitute for information. I say that after we leave. Moon <laughs> fair. Mm, crotch provoking. I don't, <laughs> do not need to, to, to make anything happen with these people. Just want a moment they are, of time. They're going to want money from you. That's fine. Even for a moment of your, their time. We just gave the woman with the cod piece a coin to tell us nothing. And to make us a cod piece. She told <laughs> us about the loaf and the un the bad the bad loafy bumpy loaf and the uh, untamed, and then told us about your um, moon fair. Moon I stand Luna corrected. <laughs> all right, but all right, like you know, if you guys if you want some coins to see what you can find out, like hey, we're looking for any clues on where these people this 
Which person are we looking for? For fuck's sake, I don't remember already. What we we you don't know who you're looking for. That's that's kind of the thing. We don't know. You, yeah, you feel like you're supposed to be finding uh, uh, former like lieutenants of uh, lieutenants. Uh, All right, so they're gonna be. I think starting at some of the. I think starting at some of the 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 taverns would be a good idea to you know some of the lower ends. I think that's a really good idea. And more barn, I'm with you if you want to go. They could be at the brothel, brothel as well. Yes. Uh-huh, how yeah. much? Go- Trouser seems to be really into this idea as well. I'm just throwing that out there. So, 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 so Tearless, you were I mean, supportive, you were, and I appreciate it. You, in your in your time in the Gladiator pitch, you were treated quite well, and one thing you were given was uh, basically sex. I mean, like you you know whatever kind you wanted, but you were able to get access. We'll say. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yes. that, raises, that raises an interesting side point here as a centaur. <laughs> centaur want to have sex with other centaurs, horses, people. I'll tell you later over a drink. Okay. <laughs> 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 these, these are private matters. Apparently, but uh, just interesting. I enjoy yes. amphibians. I don't yeah. want to know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I will tell you I've never been with a monk dwarf, oh. though. <laughs> And nor and nor will you. <laughs> oh my God! We have Ooh, I smell from center. chemistry. <laughs> That's fine. I can play this character anyway. Uh, we we could right. always uh, split up and figure uh, sort of find information and or not. Um, either way. Morbarn, how much? Yeah, I mean, we could. Morbarn, how much money do you think you need to work the brothel? I don't think I need any money, actually. Oh my! I well, think I might be able to. They're gonna give it to you for no. free. <laughs> when they see when they see a champion like a centaur, when, 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 I, when I might Barn. have some. I might do some trade work. Uh, okay, um, Morburn. Here's five gold pieces. Start there. Trust me, you're gonna need something. Yeah, Morburn. When you when you walk into a brothel, you turn into a nonprofit organization. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so I get, I'm giving you five gold pieces. That's something to start with. Okay. So you um. All right. So because I know I know that no matter how <laughs> no matter how much big dick energy Morbar has, <laughs> you're gonna need, you're gonna need to play. You're gonna need to pay to play. So is Morbar the type that goes to the local Hooters and thinks that the waitress is actually interested in them? Is that, the, is that what we're going for? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Morbar, uh, you start making your way uh, through the town uh, using directions. So you guys got kind of more of a feel for the town. The town, it, it's, it's reputable enough. Uh, it seems to largely be a trade hub is what it is. Um, this might be why there's like, when you start asking about like, is there gangs? There are gangs, but they're largely making their money, not necessarily robbing people, but like running protection um, or going with caravans like that. Uh, you are noticing that this place does kind of, Zahash's reach here is not nearly as, as much as you would like ex- expect it or what you're used to. Um, but what you are noticing there is there is a substantial amount of Nilthasu and that is like the high elves materials coming through. Um, and based on what I was kind of said, this, this place is n- not too far off the coast um, where if you were to keep on going over, over the sea, there would be uh, the island of Nilthasu, where the, where the um, which has become very isolated uh, aside from trade. So yeah, this is a trading port for the very isolated elf kingdom. And it's not. This is actually not a port city. It's not on the ocean. It's about. It's about fifty miles inland. But it's more of a hub. So also, okay. if you were a lieutenant trying to hide, where where would you go? Right, um, to a busy trade city, maybe to take <laughs> off to another place. But maybe you wouldn't go to the shadiest inn in town. Hmm. You know, if you were trying oh. to lay low. But, trying to keep a low profile, you'd stay at a, you'd stay at some inn. You'd want eyes not yeah. on you. I also think it wouldn't be a bad idea to check some of the uh, like where wherever people like the station, wherever people would catch uh, either a a um, caravan or yeah, a caravan or or uh, since we're inland, I guess not a ship. But, you know, and the brothel sure. isn't a bad idea as well. No. I, I, no, it really isn't. It's actually a pretty yeah, good idea. it's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> 
after, who's after going the, with the rest of the party starts kind of debating the the prospects of this town uh, and you're ready to just give your fuck on uh, <laughs> you you start walking <laughs> towards uh you, you can see it quite uh easily uh the luna the luna fair a lunar fair. We'll call it the lunar fair. It's a little easier to say. Lunar fair. Okay. Is everyone going fair. with Morbarn or all of us are? Well, more. I'm. I'm doing Morbarn. You can follow along. You're a tag along now, bud. I, I want to do buzz kills. Yeah. Yeah. I'll follow going? Morbarn along. Uh, right. Because so Morbarn and Tyrla. So, so a gnome and a centaur walk into a brothel. Okay. They they ask the. Okay. Yeah. Um. So Morbarn, you walk on in. Um. You feel pretty counts as two. What's up? <laughs> they, they, they walk into the brothel and the uh, brothel goes, still counts as two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still counts as two. So, so you right, go, go on. on in and uh, Morborn, you walk into this place and it, it's nice. Um, they have a nice kind of a purple blue atmosphere. Uh, it's, it's, it's kindly lit with like candles that are, it smells nice. Um, there's, they definitely are leaning into the lunar name with like kind of a moon kind of a motif. At the same time, you notice too that the uh, individuals here, both men and women, all have respect respectable derrieres, we'll say. So flat. No, like they have like like they have pretty pretty nice butt butts. Nice oh, butt. okay. Oh, okay. okay. Derriere booty, yeah. Booty. Uh, I, I like them all. Flat. So. So yeah, so but um, so yeah, they're they're all hanging, and uh, as you walk in, uh, clean you guys are freshly cleaned. Uh, clothes are a little rough, but that's all right. Uh, they um, this uh this this uh you know younger man comes up to you and says, uh, "Welcome to the lunar fair. What might I? What might you be interested in today?" I am here to. Have a drink, and perhaps a nice conversation. Ah, that is this. This is on the menu. Um, we do have a bar with a, in, a, in a fine area. Would you care to have this conversation there, or would you care to have it uh, in a private setting? Well, I'd like to see what this place has <laughs> available. So perhaps in the parlor, we could. Have a, a nice sherry. Very well. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and ensure there is room for both you and your companion. Thank you. you, know, uh, you guys... I thought I look at Zog Chen and I go, y you know, I never really thought I was going to give a no money to have sex. In my you life. haven't lived. Full disclaimer: I didn't say anything about going to have sex. I'm just. Yeah. We're gathering information. We're we'll gathering see where this leads, Morbarn. We'll see where this leads. I yield the floor. I just wanted to say outside. <laughs> I'm talking to him. I was like, I didn't think I was going to be thank doing you, this. Mr. President. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is kind of a, is that work? All right. Uh, so, um, yeah, he goes. Let me go and uh, ensure there's, there's space for the two of you, um, and we 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 can begin. Uh, the the gentleman stands there, uh, kind of looking around. Uh, you, Morbarn, you're, you're a little more worldly than Tearless. Tearless just seems like I guess we're waiting because of waiting. But you notice that uh, they're taking their time. More than likely, you suspect that they're expecting like some sort of uh, generosity from you. I take two coin and I slide it across the card. Okay. You slip two gold pieces uh, along the little table that says. Oh, why, thank you. I will make sure that you have the best seat in the parlor. Thank you. And um, walks off and comes back a few minutes later. And you guys kind of, and you can see some people coming in and out. Uh, there, there's men, women uh, coming in and out. Uh, it looks like most of the people here, uh, there are a few elves, uh, half elves, humans. Uh, you don't notice any dwarves that are working here. Uh, there is. Uh, a uh, a halfling uh, woman, um, no centaurs work here. Uh, that's a whole different. That's a whole different uh, type. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would have met. Yeah. So uh, eventually he comes back and says, oh, "Yes, please follow me." Um, Do we see uh, anything as we're eyeballing the room? Anything that would draw uh, our attention? 
people seem to be kind of keeping themselves and they're not, this isn't the kind of place you go to like talk to other people that are attending there. You more go to it to like pay for the company, the formal company of, of these people uh, that work there. Uh, and then, and then pretend, you know, their company in, in regards to whether or not you're like talking to them or you're engaging in some sort of, uh, I'm just sort of uh, just searching, <laughs> searching for any anybody that was little, characters. Yeah, look, you know, not out of place, but just you know, it is, it is a little overwhelming to you, tearless, in that like yeah. you're you're not used to these colors and scents. Yeah, and very, yeah. along with the scents are very a little overwhelming. Like you're not used to smelling uh, this kind of freshness. Oh. Or kind of like <laughs> I, I love the acting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Mm. blushing. It smells too nice in here. <laughs> I like that, like sweat and hay. <laughs> yeah, you're used to like you're used to like the, the smells of like rust, blood. Yeah, like, yeah. Dirt. Like, like uh, you, it's just you, very you, strange. I will say this too: you do get a whiff of, of one familiar smell when someone comes out, and you do get a smell of sex on somebody as they walk out of the place. That, oh. one, <laughs> that one does feel oh. a little more. Yeah. It's not oh, a bad that. House. All right. Anyways, so what do you think they're doing here? All right, so um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they do that here. <laughs> uh, so you you uh, he got that was, where I come from. Brothels are a delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a, ty it's a type of strudel. All right. <laughs> Is it restaurant? Is it uh, really? You you go on in. And uh, he takes you to the parlor. The parlor's pretty nice room. There's about another two parties here of people kind of talking. Um, some There's like one guy talking to like, uh, you know, one man and three women uh, that clearly work here. There's another person that's having like an intimate conversation with a woman. Uh, but you take a seat and he says, um, he says, uh, let me, while I go get your drinks, uh, why don't you tell me if you want you to think about, and when I come back, let me know what kind of conversation you're interested in having. And we will uh, make it underway. Deal. He walks off. And, uh, I look at more barn and I, and I say, uh, "What's our plan?" <laughs> yeah, this, I think this guy knows a lot about a lot of things. I I will let you do the talking, and I will just uh, carefully <laughs> perk my ears up and listen for other conversation or things around the room. I'll be the silent centaur. And I think also as a side note, I think uh, uh, Norvar and I, we, we probably should be eyeing up people coming in and out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you guys are watching them yeah. in and out. Yeah. Um, you guys stand there for a while and you're not recognizing anybody. They all just seem like, you know, a uh, bunch of John Does. Um, but uh, Norvar, you're, you're uh, eventually the gentleman comes back with the drinks and presents you guys. You said a sherry, was it, right? Yes. I just down it. <laughs> and he kind of looks at you kind of weird, like that that's abrupt. But uh oh, very you're, uncouth. Yeah. You're a little more you're a little more classy. Um I assume you're gonna kinda of sip on it. It's this a Safina or a Montiato. Ah, an excellent nose. <laughs> so um had you considered what your uh what, what you would like to engage in today? <laughs> <laughs> a little horseplay. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad that you finally asked. Actually, I'm looking for someone. Oh, someone specifically. Uh, were, were you? Did you have a reference to our establishment? You're part of the military. Men in uniform. But are you saying you're part of the military or they're part of the military? They are. Oh. Um, what military? <laughs> Where are you going with this? Yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant. Do they know what a military is? <laughs> yeah, like I turned I turned to I turned to know. <laughs> I'm not there. Oh, he's I'm outside. outside. <laughs> you run. All the way out. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I grab Noravar and I go talk to this guy. I I help her and I say something like, um, "This is your party. This is your we're party, looking Norvar. we're looking for those who don't want to be found." Wow. Um, there you go. Hmm. Um, 
men of maybe who are hiding or, or people who are characters who are hiding perhaps from a, a more darker past? Well, there are those that come here to escape a past or to live in a present of their own making and choosing. Um, so we're looking for those who are probably escaping um, the dark past, uh, uh, who were maybe involved with uh, someone we we rather not say, but well, you see a, li a lich of sorts. <laughs> Just, <laughs> <so> specific, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you guys are gonna be. Like, we're lich. gonna be. A, we're gonna be. A, yeah. yeah, that's like that's like I, when, that's when so you guys. When you guys repeat this story, when this is done, this farce is over, and you tell the story to Zogshan and myself, I'm literally going to say, you are no longer allowed to investigate on your we're, we're like We're like the best law and order team there is right now. Like the gnome and the centaur. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, uh, I like I like your your you're asking about like the lids. That's like that's like walking into a place and going, Yeah. I don't want to say who I'm looking for, but uh some sort of uh fewer. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you're like, okay, well, I know you're talking about. Like, I, I'm a yeah. centaur gladiator of. Many, I like, I like uh, a man who doesn't right. mince words, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Uh, and I look at uh, more says, more. Uh, the yeah. the proprietor. The, this gentleman says, uh, "Well, you see, uh, a business like this is only successful uh, upon its discretion, and breaking discretion like that." is certainly uh, costly for my business, impl heavily implying that uh, it More would coin. cost money to, to, for him to transgress. More coin before I have to um, and intimidate they, and him. Now it's come to the point where it's like, um, and please, uh, if you care to uh, uh, pay, the, um, the sherries would be uh, four gold pieces for the pair. Oh, shit. I look at more of them. We were only given five, so we gave we gave two. Uh, we're gonna run and get more. And I give you more. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Can I can I attempt to uh, intimidate him with my yes. uh, search for information? I oh, lean over. Like you get up and you 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 really like you really uh, yeah propel yourself up. Um, and you're not like brandishing weapons. You're just, you're just no, like, no. Like just using right. my physical stature to convey. And right. while we're giving three, well, like you'll take three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make an intimidation check. Fuck. Okay. Just try. Poor guy probably makes like seven twenty-five an hour. I know. I know. <laughs> Tw He's Twenty-one. Like, the price of the price, man. <laughs> um. He says he he takes the three gold pieces and says um. Thank you do that thing when your pectorals flex, you know, like. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, three gold pieces and says, um, "Thank you. Please uh, keep it. That's that's maintain uh, a level of respectability here." And it walks off. Then I, I turn don't... to tearless and I go, <laughs> "Why did you do?" <laughs> I go, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. We did not have enough coin. Uh, I can wait outside. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you in your, during your, your uh, conversation. I kind of like shuffle my uh, horse legs like. You're fine. You're fine. It, okay. was, it was the pectorals. Oh, too much. I'm used to using that <laughs> tactic in the gladiatorial pit. People seem to love it. <laughs> Along with my patent and clothesline. So much. So much. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he might be getting someone more information, or he might be getting city guard. I'm not sure at this point. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, either way with this place. <laughs> so what did we find out here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we found out sherry is very expensive, and it's a bit bitter, and there's too much, too many smells. Here. Uh. So you you check this, like <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we found out Sherry is really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> the brothel marks up their alcohol substantially. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have a sixteen hundred percent markup. Yeah. 
but we'll <laughs> <laughs> but be Sorry, sure no, we won't give we won't give any uh we won't let Norvar uh Zogchen, uh we, let's not embarrass ourselves oh, no we're, uh, we're robbed yeah we were robbed yeah so you guys you guys tell you guys can talk the story about being robbed no, we can't lie to our team. Yeah, we can't. We we wait a long, uh, uncomfortable amount of time and realize he's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> we eat all the bar snacks. Yeah, we eat all the bar snacks. No bar snacks, man. There's nothing like that. Here. It, it's like um, you know, this is like a pillowy area with like a little table. Well, you know what? We'll we'll take ourselves out, and as we leave, I'll uh, let a, let a little flatulence out on our way out. <laughs> My horse, my horse tail will go. Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you, you do a dressage out. So you you yeah. leave yourself not welcome here again, Tearless. And uh, yeah, oh. you, you kind of you kind of yeah shit on their place and whatever. You know, they kind of. There's no one that was there or is outside that's like. Pfft. Yeah. No um, one. I'm outside and you see Norvar and Zog Chen. Um, I look like this. Yeah. Hey, that was quick. Uh, so, how'd it go? Yeah, uh, we spent your coin. We had nice drinks. More bar. Our coin. You find out anything? Yes, the place is quite nice. I won't be returning. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. this you place finished? Is so over. <laughs> you two finished with your adventure? Can we maybe go check out some of the inns? Uh, perhaps. Up an inn would be. <laughs> Maybe you have a better lead there, Nova. I don't know. Perhaps your cod piece would do quite well there, Zonchen, <laughs> when it's ready. One can only hope. Come on, you jokers. Let's Sir. go. Tell, yeah. you tell us all about your adventures inside the <laughs> I hang my head low. <laughs> follow. Uh, that's what I thought. It's okay, guys. Let's go. Surprise! It was not <laughs> like the arena. Heard his fart. <laughs> it was not like the arena. <laughs> Strange the crowd did not. Yeah. Did you warm up to me. I did. It, it usually works. The fans love it. <laughs> this is very different from the pits and the, from the people of the pit. I I don't know. I'm learning my ways. Yeah, I understand. And, and in my defense, tricky. I was not there. I didn't see the pit. <laughs> <laughs> so, geez, wow. all right. um, so perhaps, so perhaps a <laughs> divey in is a good place to find someone in hiding. I think they'll like my t uh, my uh, antics better at a shady <laughs> inn. I think yeah. an upscale brothel with expensive drinks. <laughs> It was, it was not the not the place for flatulence. Yeah, that, that, you guys, you guys priced yourself out of information there. Essentially, what you did. Yeah, we we did. <laughs> like it was, it was a little, yeah, it was a little higher tier. Um, you guys, if you're <laughs> fine, that was worth five gold pieces <laughs> just to watch you two flail. We should have asked. We should have asked for six. <laughs> it might have been, it was good. I thought there would be more opportunity. Oh, there was opportunity. You had to pay for it. Like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I have, uh, I should have offered to paint a shirt <laughs> <laughs> or a wall. I got a feeling that wouldn't have worked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not so, sure it could have uh, went worse. You, you guys get out of the, you guys kind of walk off from the lunar fair and uh, towards uh let me get that down to uh, heading out across towards the uh, what do you call it? The upset loaf. Upset loaf. I can remember it was unkept loaf or unset. <laughs> unkept loaf. Unkept loaf. <laughs> uh, I like it because loaf could be like a bread. It could be bread, or it could be like a turd, or it could be like a person. Yeah. No, it's definitely a turd in my head. It's, it's definitely yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially if the food is bad, I feel like it would. You yeah. you got upset as and we had pull, a loaf. As we pull up, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely more of the place we can afford and i look at more barn kind of going more of the level of money that we have will go further in there yeah you can you can see there's some people hanging outside uh it looks like there's like kind of people waiting like looking for maybe kind of work outside you, you've seen this type before um we're not talking like day laborers we're talking like they're looking to get picked up by caravans um usually it's like a, it's like a group of like three to four individuals together uh they are armed 
um, and looks like they're kind of like ready to travel and stuff like that. Their bags packed and stuff like that. Um, hopefully someone comes by. And you do see some caravan, uh, like, um, what are they called? Uh, caravan masters coming up and they're going, hey, you know, like, what's your rate for the group to go to this far or stuff like that? So you, you can see there's definitely business going on outside. Yeah, interesting. Well, no, in, no interest. I, I, walk, I walk in. <laughs> and the sign outside, it's a the sign outside is a it's a a very has a, it's a it's a loaf of bread with like an angry face uh draw. <laughs> awesome. It's, it's like it's gonna be like, disgusting. Let's go. What's that? Mike, you better draw that for next week. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of imagine something <laughs> like that, like a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with no, like a natural <laughs> It does have arms. It has like muscular arms. Like it's like angry. Mm. Like think, like think a, of a, like if a loaf of bread. Toilet, like, <laughs> if a loaf of bread the Hulk. <laughs> amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so I guess we all let's all head in. Let's so you, take a look. So you walk on in. We'll all get some it's drinks. A, it's it's definitely bigger than my father's place. Um, and so you, you go on in, and it's it's uh, you can see people are kind of hanging out chilling out it's daytime so not as many people are drinking right now um but there are some you do you can definitely tell that there's a few um clicks here uh noticeably though as was mentioned earlier there is a, a pretty good a pretty sizable no pun intended group of bugbears hate those guys okay. all right I, uh, Andrew, I just kind of flex you know all right so we cruise in is our table free uh, yeah, there's some tables free, free there, too. Oh. All right, I'm so, gonna go uh, grab one. Oh, go ahead. Met, met, met metagaming here, Dom. Um, so how do we want to play this? Do, do we want to? I figure we case this joint, just kind of get comfortable, start talking to people, and start asking around. We ask too okay. much, we're gonna come off as cops, but we want to start talking up people. May, you know, maybe use some of the money to buy some drinks for certain people and. Kind of just be chill and hang out and have a good time. Okay. Them, okay. Like, I don't know if you're wanting to go in friendly or we want to just go in and bust some heads and. No reason to attention. bust some heads. I think we can. Kind I mean, of there's go a in reason. Easy. Yeah, we say this but, outside. We can go in easy, yeah. <laughs> and I think we just sort of hang out and oh, uh, yeah, they're, chat they're people bears. up. But listen, let's try not to say the lich word or the wizard word. <laughs> let's like okay. focus on anything unusual. Anybody hiring? Any weird things going on? People coming through. And he's, you know, like try no to take in, no take in, no take Try to be <laughs> subtle. Like, all I'm saying is try to be subtle in there, okay? And just have a good time. Talk to some uh, people. Would you order me a sherry? <laughs> I took when, a liking to it at the brothel. When did you, when did you start <laughs> drinking sherry? Okay, never mind. You know what? Sure, whatever. Anybody else? I'll go get some drinks. Who wants what? Uh, and then, I like the grog. Andrea, yeah. for your reference, I posted a link to an image of a bugbear, so you kind of know what they look like. Yeah. Um, they, they have very long arms. Or cool, uh, and they're they're pretty. Uh, they're known to hit pretty damn hard. They're so. scary. They're not. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're not. And they're not. They're not dumb. They're actually uh, known for being. The, the scary part about them is that they're actually surprisingly quiet for their size. Think about a Bigfoot that likes to strangle you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That got that they gauntlet they spike. Again? Bugbear. It's a type Bug of bear. Bugbear. Yeah. Bug bear. It's a type of goblinoid. Yeah. Not what I was envisioning. No. <laughs> I'm I not sure I've ever fought one in the arena. Yeah. So uh, you a saw bear a... bear with wings. <laughs> you know, they're not a bug, surprisingly. I don't know you why should draw that. Name. They're not a bug or a bear. Or a bug. You should draw that. I think uh, that would be a nice, your vision of a bug bear. We'll present it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of like, you, you, <laughs> you made me laugh when I was doing line work. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Taylor, you you have encountered bugbears before in the pit. They they did have, okay. a few, and they were largely, they were always something you wanted to fight, but you never got the opportunity because they were uh, they made much better uh, laborers. Oh, they're fierce. I remember seeing them in the pit. Yes, I've never quite encountered one, but let's not make today the day. But I won't back down. All right. So Time you, for that sherry. <laughs> <laughs> More <laughs> sherry. Five coin, please. Uh, find the table and you guys take a seat and people kind of look you over. They give you kind of the whole uh, Star Wars cantina kind of feel. People yeah. kind of when you walk on in and Centaur is kind of out of place, but they're like, all right. Yeah, I'm like, I'll My stay. My friend doesn't like you. Yeah, 
I don't you. like you either. Thank no, you guys, that's too good, dude. You know the thick nose guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, doctor. What's his name? Doctor. Is, is, is Esteban? What's his guy's name? Shit, her. He name. was in Rogue One. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that one. So, uh, so I'm gonna have you guys sit down. I'm gonna go get us drinks. Two sherries, I guess. We'll see if this place even has it. Ale for you, Grog Chen. <laughs> The grog, yes, yes. A grog, cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I cruise over to the bar. <laughs> while they all sit down, and I go like. Uh, there's the guy. Gets... He's like, he's just wiping his hands off all the crap, and the bar is pretty unkept. Uh, it's definitely not. Hasn't been like. Uh, it's it's. What the fuck's a sherry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You hear that in the background? <laughs> yeah, <get> the <laughs> fortified <laughs> wine. <laughs> Uh, the Nora bar. Red and white. Uh, Fuck you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to uh, order a couple drinks, please. Do you guys uh, forgive me for asking, sir? Do you actually have fucking sherry? <laughs> he kind of laughs. He goes, you know. You can kind of laugh. He says, "He's like he looks over at your table and he's like, I can't even guess which one of them asked for it." <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of the sherry being perhaps yeah. how we find this motherfucker. If you don't have any sherry, we'll take four four ales, please. <laughs> you got house ale. Uh, uh, All right. And he goes we'll up that. and flops out this like these like mis- uh, mismatched mugs and doesn't really give a shit on how like he pours on the port of like you know and everything. Uh and kind of sl- you're you're pretty sure like one of them is like so, like about you know eight ounces less than the other one or something <laughs> like not subtle and he puts them all on the table and he says uh yeah silver piece okay um as i'm taking care of that and i slide him one of the gold pieces to make change out of i ask him i was like hey uh has there been uh kind of new in town looking yeah. for work looking oh, for stuff for it uh huh it's, this is a good place to come for work yeah i was yeah, uh that's what i heard he like nudges at your armor he's kind of like he's like pointing your art your sword and shields like, yeah it's a good place to come for work if you're dressing like that yeah 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 that's what I, that's what we heard i was just wondering if you uh if you knew of any um anybody else that's come into town that's looking to hire muscle looking to hire stuff people like something a little unusual anything out of the ordinary I'm kind of looking for somebody that I worked for, and I don't know where they are. So I'm just wondering if anybody, anything strange has been going on in you, but newcomers hiring. And he's all, well, that all, that all depends. And he, he, he takes out uh, nine silver pieces to mm-hmm. take your one gold. Yep. And he starts sliding one silver piece across the table. Okay. Goes to slide another one across the table. I mean, we can stop at any point that you'd like to. Tell you what, why don't you uh, keep uh, five of those? All right. Yeah, odd work. I can't tell you about what kind of work people do here. I don't. Uh, I don't delve into it too much. What I do know is that uh, everybody keeps me uh, out of it. Mm. I keep on selling them cheap drinks. Right. Uh, something like that, though. Odd work. Well, is four silver pieces enough to keep uh, your mind, uh, keep that in mind, and maybe let me know if uh, anything turns up? For sure. What's the name, friend? Uh, my name is Morbarn. <laughs> <laughs> but it's no, that's how it's done, I guess. But it's pronounced <laughs> Nuravar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I give my name, uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's Joe, Joe Mama. Yeah. No. My name is uh, my name is uh, Dorvar. <laughs> More like Thor. Moravar. All right. Thor. My name is Thor. Thor. Just them, the yeah, Thor. Is that? Uh, and he, it's uh, pronounced Thor. <laughs> he he says he says uh, thanks. The name's Che. Nice to meet you, Chase. Yeah, let me know. Uh, can you hold on to those silver pieces? We're gonna drink. I might come back, but if anything comes up, let me myself or and I look over at them. I'll I was say like, this, uh, let me let me know. Just if, you're, uh, let me. if you're looking for um, Sherry, some motivated folks for work, the uh, 
Uh, what I need the what I need the bugbear gang. Shit, I totally forgot. Oh, uh, untamed. Oh untamed. untamed. Yeah. Untamed. Untamed. I put a little thing over the yeah, e. Untamed. <laughs> uh, and uh, he says, "Yeah, the untamed over there points to the kind of nudges the bugbears. They're gonna be uh, any. They're the best at what they do here in town, but they don't take it out of the town much. So, so most people here, I'm gonna tell you, they're transients. They're just coming through, grab the next caravan, take it to its destination, get out." Uh, between yeah. having those further inland. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, you Let go. Me know if you're, no. Take care, Che. I walk over. Yeah, and, and I do want to emphasize that I did say, like, if you hear anything else, just let me yeah. and my friends, and I look over my friends and I go, let me know <laughs> what you hear. And then I walk back and I bring them all drinks, and I tell them, I was like, okay, guys, here you go. Uh, here's your sherry. They don't have sherry here. Um, oh. But uh, I say, so apparently this group, the Untamed, that lady told us about, apparently they're the ones that have the inside track on jobs in this area, the kind of jobs that people get hired for in terms of caravans that are coming in and out. And apparently the bugbears are who we have to talk to. Would you like me to do that? I don't know how I feel about that. I jokingly say that, that of course. My job. That part just... of me says yes, and part of me says no. I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? I think, uh, yes, maybe we could find some work or see what work they're doing that might lead us to our mission. I think the best way to begin, maybe we should buy them drinks. Mm. A round of sherries, you think they'll like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You you very much notice that uh, when Norvar comes back, he is not carrying sherry. So oh, oh, yeah. Or mug More. of a rather thin-looking ale. Thin-looking ale. We could give him our this drinks. This is not to be brewed at the monastery, I can tell you that. We'll just, yeah. we'll, we'll you, just go. You, you brewed this at the monastery. You just did it in the outhouse. You know? <laughs> it's what? Pretty, it's pretty. It looks like piss. Like It looks like Oh, bad. oh I got you. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys! It's wet. Don't get too, don't get too horny, <laughs> Tori. I mean, you went to one brothel one time, and you screwed it, and you drank. And, and those drinks were quite delicious, I have to say. Yeah. Now, I've, that's probably the best thing I've ever had. My it was really good. For, for the whole, the whole uh, third of a second it lasted. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So why don't we? What do you guys say about? A, why don't I buy that table around the drinks? But I have to warn you all, bugbears can be – actually, I should roll, roll before I say anything. I shouldn't see how much I know about bugbears. Um, you, know, you know, you you see the type, Norvar. You, you, you've, met, you've worked with them before. Um, a lot of the bugbears are kind of um, – they don't really have a land of their own, and they're kind of uh, – they kind of roam around like they're kind of a clan structure, kind of a gang clan structure. Um, yeah. And they kind of take – like they'll take dirty jobs that people don't want to do. Um, and they know that, like, they are good at bashing heads. Um, and that tends, I don't know that, that tends to be the work they take, but they'll take it. Yeah. Um, okay. But they have a good sense of humor. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, it depends. Depends what you mean by humor. Yeah, like, do you like somebody to be, like, punched in the face and you find that funny? Then you have an audience there. <laughs> so. Fair way to put it. So, uh, so Norma, you want to order a round of drinks for him? Yeah, I head up and I go to Che and I say, hey, will you buy the Untamed uh, round of drinks on us and let them know it was us? Yeah, sure. Uh, Whatever they want. Yeah, and he, he kind of like points you to give him money. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> give him a gold piece. Yeah, give him a gold piece. He'll cover the whole thing. The... There's like a tab. There's like a ball hog. Sure. Okay, I slide over a gold piece to him and I'm like, yeah, just give me the table. That's for you and that. You see, him, you see him start pouring up drinks and all this stuff, and he uh, he takes his time and goes over. Back at, I go back to the table. Too. Yeah, he goes over and hands them, and uh, he talks to one of them specifically and kind of points. Uh, he talks to this one woman uh, bugbear, and uh, she uh, a few of the bugbears that, like some are wearing some are wearing like like kind of like leather armor. Um, there's some of them aren't wearing any armor. Uh, if you're curious, all of them do look like they're armed to some degree. Uh, mostly like uh, maybe like a, like a giant mace or something like that they have. 
Um, but the the one woman kind of looks over at you guys like kind of suspiciously. Um, twelve of them, you said? There's twelve of them. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So we're outnumbered. Well, we've got a raging centaur. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes thing. I'm counted as two. Calm down, calm yeah. down, everybody. We bought them drinks. There's no need to get ready to fight. Let's make some friends. And roll for initiative. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, you you take your you kind of uh, she kind of looks over you guys and gives you a nod. A lot of them start drinking their drinks. Uh, she takes a few sips, stands up, starts walking over to you. Says, uh, comes up and says. Uh, Thanks for the drinks. What do you do? I owe the generosity to. Well, um, my friends and I are new in town, and uh, we were told uh, that we should come out to the uh, un Angry, Loaf. Un Angry Loaf. Upset Loaf. Upset Loaf, <laughs> and we should talk to the Untamed, and I hear that you're the Untamed. Untamed. <laughs> wow. I am the untamed are all of us. We look out for each other. Yeah. Yeah. I give word. her one of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, word. Feel you. My <laughs> yeah, I I yeah, with, your, with your obsidian skin, yeah, very nice. And uh, <laughs> yeah, she says, I'm Stis. Stis. <laughs> my name is, hi, Stilo Stis. My name is Norvar. This is my friend, Zogchen. More barn and, uh, <laughs> More barn. and my friend Tyrellius. And I do the pectoral thing. The trouncer. <laughs> the trouncer. Anyway, we just we just got into town. We just got into town. Like I said, we're looking for work. I hear this is the place to do it, and I hear that you guys might be in the need of people who have a particular set of skills. In killing. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, you see, if there's a skill, she kind of looks off and says. Uh, looks back at tier list and looks back at her people, looks back at tier list and is like, I think we have the type of skills you're into covered. Yeah, yeah, well, you never know. We're always good for help and we're just looking, hey, all we're doing is looking for some coin. Oh, we said, uh, Morbard here, This the gnome here has a different set of skills. So then he just, she's like, killing. like, well, the, the caravans are coming down the road. Uh, there's at least three due tomorrow. See if one of them will pay you. Where should I uh, find them? Is that well, I just don't want to. No, huh? you, you, you know what she's talking about. Outside of these like different right. groups of guys, kind of waiting to like get work. As long as we have your permission, don't want to step in your territory. You just want to be respectful. Either work with you or be able to get some work on our own. That's all. So that, that actually sure. goes over pretty well with her. Uh, she yeah. like she like. Well, I appreciate I appreciate that gesture and the. Uh, the, the amicability of it all. Yeah. Now we're, yeah, we're new in town. I understand. We're not trying oh, to make trouble. We just want to be. We have our. Uh, we got our hands full right now. But yeah. if something comes up. I, I I can get. I can. I can see passing a, a job on to you. Thanks. I appreciate that. You, you said you have a lot going on. What's been going on in the city? Like I said, we're just new here. Just uh, <laughs> making sure everything keeps on turning and all that turning. Yeah, I got you. And all that turning goes in uh, goes in our favor. Yeah, I hear you. I know how it goes. It's been a while since I've been out here, but it's good to know. Yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate the information. Well, my... Uh, nice job, Norva. Wait till she leaves, Marbarn. My... Uh, <laughs> she looks out the gnome. No. They broke. <laughs> she looks at the gnome kind of like, like okay whatever and then uh she uh she says well let me uh let me make sure all my men all all, all my uh my people know as it says boys these are the fo fine folks that got us those drinks and they all yeah. and like they're all like yeah. what's really shocking about it is like how when, you, when they lift, yeah. when they lift their drinks up how high they go you're noticing that, Bugbear arms are very long. Like there is like oh. yeah, long. their arms are as long as like Zogchen is tall. Wow. Ruh, ruh. 
Yeah, <laughs> they're like they're like gorillas. Like that. That's kind of mm-hmm. the way to describe them. They have, they have, but they have like full blown legs. Those have very thick uh, feet. That's kind of that's why they're called foot pads. That's yeah. why they're quiet as shit. They're terrifying. Mm-hmm. Like they they're very patient. So, um, it says uh, they they seem to appreciate your generosity and then also you. This is the good show respect. Um, yeah. Well, uh, enjoy your time here at the uh, Upset Loaf, uh, and for your generosity, don't eat the food. And, uh, <laughs> you're all right, sis. You're all right. Yeah, six. Even it's, the it's even just, the buffalo yeah. chicken wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't have the nachos. <laughs> Not the clam <laughs> chowder. <laughs> I really enjoy playing role playing games with you two. I just want you <laughs> I'm enjoying every moment of it, even if my character seems like he's not. No, Wait till she's, she's gone, Morvorn. <laughs> it's great. So, um, she, she, you kind of see her go back over, and she talks to one of the one of the other bugbears, one of the other members of the Untamed, and kind of like looks over at you and kind of you know, kind of looks like they just tell she's just saying what what went down. Um, and, um, the one nods and you see him, like, you see him kind of pull out like a, a little, like, like a little journal out of his, like not a journal, but like a little notepad out of his pocket or something like that. And he starts writing something down, kind of looking at you guys a little bit, mm. pulls it out, oh, holds it up. And then like, very like, you guys have seen him, what he's kind of doing. Um, and kind of start, he gets up and like looks like he's gonna walk out of the place. And as he starts walking out of the place, you see him kind of like drop this little piece of paper right next to your, like almost like purposely right next to your chair. Um, oh, snack. nice. Oh, it's so on I my hook. Yeah. I throw no, no. it in the trash and I yell at him for being. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pollute at this place. I, I what you, actually you, happens I is I lean my, my leg out. Before anybody can do anything, I hold my hand up and I lean my leg out and I drag it underneath the table. Except my hoof extended for no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. If you want to do that, you can do nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought more bars would go on. I thought you said you had pride in your town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, uh, I, well, I, I had Zogchen as the one that I saw snatching it. So I'm going to go Zogchen. Yeah, Zogchen, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Zogchen snatched the snatch piece of paper. All right, I'll read it. All right, and we will pick it up next session. Oh. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are subtle as Mack trucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I grew up in a monastery, uh, dude. It was good. Yeah. It was good. You guys I said we order some there? food for that. We should have ordered a round of clam Campion. chowder for those bugbears. <laughs> <laughs> Couple clam chowders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, by the way, I... I this is obviously many years ago when I drank and was in bars. So I mean, we're, it's over a decade. Can I stop recording. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. 